Hi, hi, hi. Happy Friday to you all. It is a bright, sunny day here in East Tennessee. Um, I don't know if you Not all Not very warm, but bright no. and sunny, so yeah. we'll take it. Yeah. Um, we have Rachel. You hear Rachel behind. And then, I don't know, we could probably turn mic three on if Anna wants to chat a little bit. Anna's here also. Um, Anna, remember to talk right into the mic so they can hear you. Um, but she is learning the tech portion of this, and I'm sure she'll chime in some too. Um, so sorry about earlier, friends. We did originally have today's live scheduled at 2 o'clock. You can then... blame me. It's 100% <laughs> my fault. But it's okay, because we have a real cute picture of a real cute baby um, that we'll announce about later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you probably knew that was going to happen, though. Hey, we can show no. you a picture. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway. We're thinking oh. of a fun craft we could do. Yes. You know, we want to be crafty around here. Yeah. I mean, the face, the lit, oh. oh. And the baby would, like, cross its legs and its arms. So and Oh, sweet. love, 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 love. Okay. Who all do we have with us? Miss Stacy, Lori, Susan, Aaliyah, Kimberly, Shay, Cheryl, Aubrey, Tammy, my mom, Jan. Mm. Stacy says hanging out at a holiday bazaar, and I want to know what a bazaar is. She wants to know what a holiday bazaar is. You know what a bazaar is, right, Amy? No? No. Oh. What is it? I'm going to Google it. Oh, she's Googling it. We're going to Google it. A market uh, in the Middle East. She's probably not in the Middle East, but it's an adaptation of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fundraising sale of goods typically for charity. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, there was a there was a store that we used to go to. Was it called China Bazaar, Anna? Wayne and Pigeon Forge. Oh Wayne gosh, just yes. posted a comment that was a, a a trash can and then with a panda. Trash panda. Because he's the trash panda. That's, That's the second time I've seen him post that today. <laughs> Wayne is on here. He's owning it, friend. Why does he, he think is he's a it. trash panda? Well, because I, he eats everything. I spilled the beans that that's what I called him when me and Becca, when I first met Becca. And I was like, he eats everything. He's like a dumpster. <laughs> so but in a good way. It's totally Hi, Marla. a compliment. Um, like a fair. Like Shauna, a boy market. or girl, that's the question, right? I know. It's one of those. It is. One of those. It is. <laughs> Okay, um, in today's video, we are going to be making a pillowcase. And if we're really lucky, Rachel will come and show you how to stuff the pillowcase. She's okay. really okay. She's I, really good at it. We've already heard someone, Becca's already pointed out a comment that said, please don't let Rachel go up and stuff that oh, pillowcase. Did, is Miss Carol here? Because she likes to remind you of it. What's she does. What's wrong with us? I'm missing So the, <laughs> the OGs, meaning the people that were with us at Makers and Learn as well, know that when live craft fails happen, they're just funny. And this one time, I, what was I, Becca, what was I doing? Was I trying, I wasn't, because I don't think I was stuffing a pillow. I think I was trying to put a pillow in the pillowcase. I'm pretty sure that's what I, I was doing. I think so, like the insert into and a pillowcase. Becca literally had to come over there, leave the tech station, and do it for me. Because <laughs> it was I could bad. Not it was real it. bad. I couldn't do it. And you all have Her hands were sweaty me. and everything. <laughs> like, it was funny. It was really funny. It was just one of those times, and it's hilarious to think about now. So I'm cool with it. Yes. Know? Anyway, um, I, I, this literally, the title of it is Envelope Pillow in Under 15 Minutes because it literally takes less than 15 minutes. Uh, do you all know what an envelope pillow is, first of all? I left mine over here. Let me grab it. Uh, envelope pillow makes life easier because you don't have to keep pillows, like tons and tons of pillows. So we have this insert, right? So I suggest finding an insert that you love. Anna, what is the name of the company of the inserts that we love? Lavender and something. With Lavender and Grace. With Lavender and Grace has amazing pillowcases and these wonderful pillow inserts. And they're a little bit pricier, but you they- have to buy one though. Right, and they feel amazing. Or, or is it Woven Nook? Uh, Lavender Grace is one that I was talking about, but Woven Nook has good ones as well. Yeah. So purchase one that you really love or two or however many you need, and then make some envelope pillowcases in those size, and then you just fold them up, put them in a drawer, and it's easy storage. Um, I made one of these, I think it was a couple of years ago, that was out of flannel, 
And then I took Beckett's handwritten note to Santa Claus, made it a cut file, and then transferred it over to it. And it's like one of my favorite holiday um, decor pieces. And the nice thing is I just take it off and fold it up, and it's, and it's gone itty bitty. all year. Yes. Also, Becca. Yes. Guess what? What? We have got Miss Erica Music here, and she says... Hello everyone, new to this channel, but excited to get to know everyone. Hi, welcome. Hi, Do we have any Erica? other first time viewers here today? Yeah, let I want to know. I'm out of the habit of saying it because I just assume that all the time is a first time viewer or an original viewer. Yeah, um, so welcome Erica. Yes, Erica, thank you. We're so happy you're here. How did you find us? I want to know, that's oh, yeah. amazing. Okay, um, so for today's pillow, this is an 18 inch pillow. And what you're going to want to do is cut one 18 by 18 piece of fabric. You want me to go to the overhead? Sure, or do whatever, I whatever you one? think is easier. We'll switch it. Okay, I have one 18 by 18 inch piece of fabric. And then I have two 18 by 12 inch pieces of fabric. So the 18 by 12 are the ones that's going to be creating the back of the um, pillow. And I'm not looking at comments, so interrupt me if they have any questions, Absolutely. okay? Okay, so measure your pillow. And the way that you measure a pillow is from seam to seam, just like this. So measure yours. And then the rule of thumb there, you can find some charts uh, online. I'm trying to remember, it's um, 14 inch pillow would be one 14 by 14 and then one or two 10 by 12s. A 16 inch pillow would be one 16 by 16 and then an, two 11 by 12s. And then you go up like that. So it's, uh, you know, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 inch pillows. And then you add an inch with each of those increments. So we have this. Anna's looking at me like I have 14 heads. Well, I don't. I'm slightly confused. I don't ever question Becca's measurements. The two, like, why would the width not be a 14 on one of them? Like, if it's a 14 by 14, then you do 14 by 10. Okay. So well, the 10, the length, because you don't need to overlap as much. Right, but you yes. said something about 16 by 16, and and. And then 16 by. So if it's a 16 inch pillow, then you do a 16 by 16 inch square. And then two 16 by 11. Okay. Did I say it wrong? Yeah, you said it wrong. What did I say? You, you said like 12 by 10 or something. It didn't. It wasn't the same number. But that's that's great. I'll make a chart for you all. <laughs> also, Becca, Miss Erica said, my friends actually told me about you ladies and your journey with Makers and Learn. And we have been playing catch up on the videos uh, this afternoon as we were waiting on this live to oh start. Oh, my gosh. I, that's so I recognize sweet. this Erica music. Erica, are you, are you from Morristown? Morristown? Anna wants to know. She yeah. feels like you seem familiar. Anyway, thank you so yeah. much. This is so exciting. I'm so glad to hear that. Okay, so I have my little mini Easy Press here, and I have it heated all the way up, which is somewhere between 385 and 400 degrees. We've actually tested it, and it's pretty inconsistent, but it's <laughs> the furthest one up. And I love to use this mini Easy Press for quilting. And mom, apparently, I, uh, whatever, numbers are hard. Numbers are hard. Anyway, my mom is a quilter, and she also loves to use her little mini Easy Press. I got her one. It was for her birthday or Mother's Day or something. I can't remember. But she loves to use it for quilting, and um, I love to use it for everything, including ironing my children's clothing. True story. Hey, as many uses as you can get out of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie, friends, really quickly. I'm a little nervous that this is a sewing project and my mom is watching. Oh. <gasps> Jan, you're gonna have to tune out of this one, muted or something. Just, just you're tell me later, daughter. Mom. Nervous. Just go ahead and put pins in your mouth, like mom does, and talk with them out of the side of your mouth while you're. I'm sleeping. not using pins. I'm using uh, or so pins. I'm lips. using. That'll that'll be a fun show. <laughs> yeah. So what Anna's talking about, mom will take. <laughs> mom, I'm gonna. <laughs> Mom will take straight pins and like hold them in her mouth like this. And let's go back to the yeah. other camera real quick. And then she'll talk like this, like all the side of her mouth. Perfect. Which I've got really weird mouth mm -hmm. issues anyway. Yeah, so. Anna has whatever that's called that she can't stand like chewing and all of that stuff. And Anna wants me to like do it with a clip. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> back to the project, Fran. Sorry. Um, I am using the sewist sewist clips and before you all come at me sewist is apparently some new age term that no, they new way it's actually been several years has it sewist is a thing 
It is. Because just, sower looks like sewer when it's written, written out. Yes. So people, Didn't we decide that mom hated the term, though? She does, yes. Yeah. Anyway, these are sewist clips, and they are phenomenal. They will revolutionize your sewing experience. Absolutely amazing. So what I'm going to do is create a folded hem right here. And what I want to do first is I'm going to eye this, but you can also grab your measuring tape. I want to fold it at a quarter of an inch all the way down. I might do a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. We'll see. But just make sure that it's even all the way down. And then I'm going to just grab my little mini easy press here and, and press it so that it doesn't move all the way down. I love this little mini easy press because this is like precision work almost. I mean, obviously you could do even smaller, but I don't feel like I'm going to run over my hand and um, burn myself. So we've got that down. Now what I want to do is flip it again. So this is called a rolled hem. Flipping it again here. Carol's here now. Hi, Carol. And she said, just don't let Rachel stuff the thing. Yes, I'm so glad you brought that up. <laughs> I'm glad you're here for us all, Carol. Uh -huh. <laughs> To, rem to remind us. Yeah. May we never forget. Okay, so we've got this almost finished. See how quick that was? And if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, if you're crazy like me and afraid it's going to come up, you can go ahead and um, just put these little clips on here for now. Once I sew it, I'll take them off, but you never know what's going to happen. I'm going to put that to the side, and then I'm going to grab the other piece, the other 18 by 12 inch piece. I feel like I'm missing something. Sometimes I get these looks. Okay. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing right here. Folding it down. And they have these fun little tools, and I cannot for the life of me remember the name of them. But you um, can set it so that there's a specific length, and it, like, you scoot it along, and it, like, folds it and creates the perfect um, hem. That All, sounds like a handy thing. Right? I was taught by someone who learned to sew before all of these things are out. So I just kind of try not to use them. Yeah. But well, they are handy. If you have them, use yeah. them. Yeah. But if you're good with this way, you know, why change it? If it ain't broke, don't fix it's it. It's just one more thing I'm going to lose. Okay. We have this guy right here. And again, you can clip that if you want. Now what I want to do is grab my sewing machine and I want to put probably a quarter of an inch right at the end right here um, stitch all the way down on both sides so from here to here on both sides here to here on both sides so I'm going to get the sewing machine here oh my table what nothing Rachel's dog Lenny is here, right? Yeah. Visiting. He has, oh, he has stunk gassy. it up over here. Oh, Lenny. I had, to hit, I had to hit Anna just to tell her so she didn't think that I would have just blown this seat <laughs> up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had to tell her. This oh. is good. This is good, friends. I'm so sorry. Miss Carol said, promise I won't ever bring it up again if you'll share if you're having a boy or a girl. <laughs> you know what, Carol? Here's the thing, though. It she doesn't, doesn't care. bother me. <laughs> no, nothing bothers me that you all know about me. Um, are we overhead or front facing? You're overhead. Would okay. You, it looks fine. Would you rather be front facing? What do they want? What do you want? Do you got? Let me let me switch it to back and see how that looks. Let me see. Mom, I think this looks good. Mom said that thing you're talking about. A hem gauge. gauge. Yeah. Hem gauge. Yeah. Okay. So I first of all have taken my right shoe off because. Anyone who has crafted with me at all knows that I cannot sew in a sewing machine with my shoe on. She always sews barefoot. I can't do it. <laughs> I cannot. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put, it's a quarter inch um, uh, seam allowance. And make sure that when you start and stop your seam that you are backstitching. And a backstitch, if you're not familiar, is basically there's a little uh, button on your machine that looks like a U-turn. And you you do forward three to five stitches, hit that U-turn back stitch button and do three to five. And it just kind of overlaps and make sure that your stitch isn't gonna come out, your seam isn't gonna come out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Look at her sewing. 
This machine isn't that loud compared to no. my fault that shakes the entire table. Oh, oh, Becca. Yeah. That thing, you can't even talk while you're filming with that thing. Well, and with these microphones, like I know they can hear it, but I would say they can hear me over it. I oh, 100%. I want to know. Yeah. yeah Erica sure. just says that um, the no shoe thing isn't weird to her because she can't even drive with shoes on. I used to, I was that way I'm for a while. Who can't. That's like a good yeah. Southern East Tennessee thing, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I have this one finished, and then I'm going to do the same thing to the other one if I can find what I've done with it because my table is a wreck. Oh, there it is, right next to me. Miss Mary says, did you take your shoe off in school, too, for home ec? Funny thing is, <laughs> is our home ec class was at our house. <laughs> so probably. So probably, yeah. Yeah, so we went to a small private Christian school. Uh, there were like 60 kids in the whole school, and um, we would have home ec at our house. I'm trying to remember exactly how it happened. Mom would drive part of us, and then the... Yeah, I think there was another, like, older student who would drive. I don't remember. I do remember making apple pies at home, and I remember making, was it tote bags that we sewed? Like, quilted tote bags yes. or something? And mine was god-awful green and blue I'm and pretty sure mine was stripes. pink and purple or something. Oh. You yeah. know, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Everyone okay. changes. Now that I have those two, if you want to go back to, to the overhead camera, um, we're almost done. We just have four more seams. Um, and that's okay. Yeah, it's fine. We can chat after this. So um, what you want to do is take your large piece, your 18 by 18 inch piece, and lay it with the right side up. So the wrong side is facing down. It's kind of hard to see because this material It's is, actually clear. It's clear. Is it? Yeah, okay. you can okay. see it easy over here. And then I want to sandwich, so right side to right side, like this. I'm going to line up right here at the bottom and the sides. And then the seams that I just sewed, sewed? Ooh. You had just sewed? sewn? That I've know. just sewn? I don't, I don't know. My goodness, it's a day. Go toward the middle. So that they're gonna overlap in the middle there. Same with this one, just like this. And if you're really good, you can probably just pick it up and sew it and things don't move around. However, I'm not that good. So I'm going to grab my little clips here and just, clip in just a few spots. It doesn't need a lot of clipping. And Becca, someone says, who is it? Let me find it. Debbie, are, are you sewing standing or do you have a stool? I am standing right now and I do prefer to sew standing. I don't know why. And Kat, I am not ignoring you. We have not uh, announced the gender yet. Here's the thing. I got into town about an hour ago and have had no time to do anything except pick up my dog from my mom's house. And that's why Lenny's here. And that's why Lenny's here. Or else we probably would have thought further about it and prepped a fun little project. But I Rach, just when do you think that time. we should announce? Do you think we should announce on Monday? I mean, Aaliyah just wanted y'all to throw some glitter out on the table. Wow. <laughs> you, that's, that, that seems easy. Monday's yeah. live. Here you go. Here's glitter. some glitter. I want to switch it back to you, Megan. Amazing. But I'm not a, at all ignoring you. So all. now I just have to sew all around, all four sides with, I'm going to use another quarter of an inch there. Okay. Miss Carol says, I'll send James homemade Texas pecan praline if he shares if it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> Listen, you'd probably get it out of him for I mean, food. I may tell you for that. For food? He, yeah. But he's he a picky food. eater. Does he like that sort of thing? Mm, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I sure would. I mean, it's sweet. I'm not telling I you would eat that. it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I love those. And so, Becca, Debbie says, have you ever tried an envelope pillow in one piece? I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means? Yeah, I do know. I haven't done that. I don't know what why I haven't it? thought about it. It would just be like one long piece and then you seam the sides. Oh, and then, like yeah. you just fold it in? Yeah. Oh. That's smart. Okay, how about this, guys? You guys are kind of mad. Not really, <laughs> but what, what if I tell you what if before? What you show them the picture, then they can guess from that? I would say something that would totally give it away, so I can't say it. <laughs> but you can tell them if they promise not to say anything for the reveal, and they still have to come to the reveal. 
Like, tell them now. and then I mean, it's up to you. It's not my way, secret. And then us have a live reveal. Is yeah. that what you mean? Well, I really don't care. I, I'm not the type of person who really cares about it. Do you guys really want to know what it is? I mean, we can make them wait the Because I, the I guess I can tell you. something fantastic real fast. Like throwing glitter on the table. Okay, I'll let Anna do that. That's fine. I don't care. Which is good because I don't think we have the other color okay. that the, the baby is not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. Do we? I don't know. <laughs> Don't know either. I don't know because I'm the one who picked out the glitter. I know. Now I'm it doesn't seem like a, yeah. <laughs> so one cool thing about this sewing machine, and I think most new sewing machines are this way: when you stop a seam, it stops with the needle down, which I really love because it allows you just to pick that foot up and, and rotate. You can turn mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I love that. Guys, I. If I think I could do a sewing project, that means it's a really good, easy sewing project, and I think I could pop one of these out right now. These are amazing. This is this in particular is amazing for a new sewer because it's just straight seams. I think I'm honestly trying to think of anything else that I would do over this as a first project, and I really can't think of anything. Mom, weigh in. What would you do as a first project for a brand new sewer? Things are done here. It's going to... My very first sewing project, not that you guys care, but my very first sewing project I ever did was a key fob. I made a key oh. fob. Oh. I was at a craft convention and made a key fob. That's impressive, Rachel. Mm -hmm. That's Thank tiny. You. Second, do you remember that nine squared, um, it was green and like fall leafy fabric uh, pot holder that was bound in green that mom made us quilt for the first time that wasn't my first quilt no, jane said a pillow first. would be a good one a pillow and, yeah and christina said what if you are really new and your seams aren't super straight like with a pillow i still think it would be fine i think it's good for you to practice on um it, if your seams aren't super straight, I would just say go slower. Uh, go slower and make sure that you're guiding it with that your other hand um, and just practice that. Another thing that you could do just for practice before you're actually making a project is to grab a piece of scrap fabric and maybe like your quilter's ruler and put some long lines with a marker on the fabric and then just practice sewing in a straight line. That would be really good. Um, I don't know if they can see this overhead camera that well or not. Let me see. Let me switch Let it. Me know. See. Yeah. This was my first. This um, is the this is the first project that I can ever remember making. The first craft that I can ever remember making. Wow. I was like probably seven or eight, and I made this quilt and hand quilted it. Oh. Yes, it's tiny. It's much I mean, cuter zoomed in. Well, it looks. I mean, it's little. Like that's a bunny what? holding it. It's like. Like this mom sent me these pictures the other day because she still has it. But what this I want to know, precious. what's the first project that or craft that you all remember making ever in your entire life? Look how little. Yeah, it's little. I want to bring that's, it in one day. That's precious. Yeah. That's precious. Um, back to this. Answer my question, though, about that. What's the first What's the first craft that you remember making, Rachel? The first craft? Craft. So I actually, the first thing that I used to do, I used to love, I still do, clay. Yes. So I would make things out of clay. And one, one of the things that still stuck in my mind, we lost it in the fire when mom lost her house, but I had it all those years. I made it when I was really young. It was a clay sock monkey that was holding a baby sock monkey. Oh. So cute. So cute. And I just loved clay, like the clay that you mold you and still bake. You still clay, yeah. I do. Yeah. I love working with clay. So that is one that really sticks out in my mind. I love that. Yeah. Anna... You can think about it, and then as soon as I flip this, you can tell me. Uh, this is finished. We're just going to reach in. Ooh, I got a little happy right there. You didn't watch your scenes. Let's go back. <laughs> I did not. Maybe you need to slow down. I do. <laughs> My first sewing project was an apron, um, a grapevine right wreath. A grapevine um, wreath? I made a skirt at home or in home ec. Mine was a pillow in school. Look at this. Uh, Georgie said, is Fallon learning to sew? Not yet, no. Um, but she did, however, <laughs> right before this, we had some extra time, um, and I made her make a video. It was 
pretty hysterical. I don't know if I'll, I'll probably post it on my private and not our regular because I don't want people to, I don't know, I don't want people to think I'm serious. But it's going to be really funny. You guys can let me know. You all can let me know. I think it would be precious. We have to I'll, edit I'll it and vote. everything. I vote to put it on here. Put it on here. I vote that. Should we put it on YouTube or just on social? Well, let's see how it does on social, but I'm totally going to put it on okay. YouTube. Okay. Anyway. It's adorable. Now that I've fixed my error here, we're just going to flip it just like this. And then we can put our pillow insert in. Rachel, watch and learn. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think the insert was too big for it, the cover. It's possible. It's possible. I think that's what my problem was, back up. So the main thing to remember when you're thinking about measurements for your envelope pillows is that you don't want, you want them to, there to be enough overlap that you're not gapping open like this. That does not look cute. You definitely want that's enough, adorable. right? Just like that. That's adorable. No, and I didn't. And push my corners out here. Let's push the corners out. Do you remember those chunky lady things that we made with there you go. Sandy Riddle when we were little? Yes, that were made out uh, of. They were like pin cushions or something. Were they? I'm remembering the angel things that look sort of like corn stalks. I don't remember yes. the. Yes. Yes. I, I think my very first one was a two by four that I, with a crayon colored gray and wrote Holy Bible on it and gave it to my father. And guess who still has that Holy Bible? My father Bible? does. I'll take a picture no, of that jewel. No, Dougie does not still have it's this on, two yes, by four. Yes. I think that that is like where my love of woodwork came from right there. From your Holy Bible two my by four. Holy, it's all spelled correctly. I'll, and it's written in red. My, mine wouldn't be spelled correctly. You so probably use like six crayons coloring that whole thing. I mean, <laughs> it is. That sounds for sure. Our that parents wouldn't amazing. let us use paint. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazing. Anyway, Susan I, said, Becca, you did great stuffing that pillow. Thank you. It's it's a gift. I'm over here rolling my eyes. <laughs> anyway, was that not quick? How long we've 30 I mean, minutes. Yeah, and we've been chatting it up like crazy. So I would say that was easily a 15 minute envelope. Easily. Pillow. Okay, let's do this little debacle. Is it Envelope, envelope. Have I been saying it correctly, Becca? I, I don't know what, I don't know. Did you hear me when I was filming that video that took me two and a half hours the other day? I tried not was to listen because I was afraid I would comment and then you would, because, okay, so <laughs> Rachel and I aren't, aren't used, well, Rachel normally films with me, but when Rachel is filming her videos, like, there's generally not anybody in the room, and so she. It's like I get stage fright, yeah, which is funny. Because. We've been together forever. Oh, like so when I'm I sitting. Do an outro and it took me nice. You did great, tries. Anna. You oh did great. Gosh. Anna. I'm sitting right here and I'm just typing along, creating graphics, <laughs> uh, and trying not to pay attention so that I wouldn't comment because I didn't want to stress her out anymore. Oh, but what no. were you saying? Huh? What were you saying? Was I saying envelope correctly? I say envelope. Okay. Becca, I think Shay I was saying. Shay says, saying it Becca, correctly. you make me want to try this as the first sewing project with my machine that's still in the box. Shay. 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 Yeah. Interestingly enough, um, Donnie and Julie, the, you know, work or they work. What are, they're owners. They're, yeah. yeah, they're owners with Co -owners us. Co-owners with us. They actually bought me a sewing machine last year for Christmas that is still in the box also because I will go over to my mother's and use hers rather than try to learn a new machine. <laughs> Full disclosure, when we did that summit thing, what was it, in October, me and Anna, and we were doing um, the costume challenge, Anna said, if the criteria has to be that it ha there has to be a sewn element, then you have to let me use your sewing machine because that's what I'm used to. And I was like, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're basically all the same, but okay. Anyway, Shay, get that thing out. Get that thing out. And then text me if you have questions. You know I'll help you. Nothing makes us more sad than like a piece of craft equipment in the in the box. Becca. Kat said, Becca. No, I'm just reading this it. This laptop of yours looks sad. I have more stickers than you. So, Kat, I took a picture of my laptop before I had to give it back because it was just so sad to get rid of some of those stickers. I had stickers that I can't get back. My, um... Now, she took them all off. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't working that. I wasn't doing that. <laughs> That's a lot of work. I forgot. It's a lot of work. 
Um, so somebody has my laptop with lots of amazing stickers on it. You need Beckett and Fallon. Or someone spent two hours me. taking them off. I'm going to tell well, you. Well, they couldn't take that etching off. I had two stickers on mine before we changed the kind of it, and it took me forever to get that thing off. Yeah? Yeah, it stuck. Anyway, you're right, Cap. I need stickers. Y'all can send me stickers. If you have amazing stickers, send me stickers. Private message me. I'll give you our address. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. I, and don't be offended if I don't put it on there. <laughs> you know, I have zero stickers on my laptop. Well, that's not true. You have one on the inside. Well, I need one Oh, I have two on the inside. Best friends. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, let me just tell y'all about this. No, it says this. you're my favorite. So, Becca and Rachel, when they were at Makers Gonna Learn, had their bitmojis, and they're like best friends crafting and that kind of stuff. They will not add me to their friend sticker because they're best friends. I shared the womb with Becca, and she's choosing Rachel over me. That's how much she loves her. Are you expecting one of us to like, say I, I something know. about Becca's that? face right now says it all. Are you, I have are nothing you supposed to, to say. To like, <laughs> are we supposed to comment? Shut up. They know how I feel about, they know how I feel about YouTube, but they know how I feel about Rachel in a work environment specifically. I've never worked with somebody that I work so well with. Same. Like, I, I've told everyone, do <gasps> not ever make me choose in this company because it, it'll be me and Becca to, to the death here. So, yeah. What, what? Uh, Miss Lorraine said she didn't take them off. I've seen someone using your computer. <gasps> no flipping way. I love that. I mean, I really don't I care. mean, it was a really good job with those. Here's stickers. the thing. Whoever's using it must just be a go with the flow person, but to have someone else's stickers all and over the front of it. Beckett and Fallon stickers on there. Those are fantastic. I don't care. Seriously, I don't. Um, that's funny, though. Yeah. Easy to get them off with adhesive remover. Yeah. Uh, let's flood Oak and Loom with stickers. I <gasps> love that. Rachel, have you told your mama what the baby is? Yes, I called my mama first. Well, you guys think I, who you think I am? I love my mama so very much. <laughs> yes, my mama knows. Um, That's short for Leonard. Unfortunately, someone called him Leonard. It's my dog. I, I, I named him Lenny, and Anna just said, is that short for Leonard? And Leonard... I'm so sorry. I just don't love the name Leonard, but we call him that as a joke. I was going to say, I literally we'll go, thought I just oh, heard you say Leonard. that like an hour ago. Oh, Leonard. Yeah. <laughs> I call him Lynn or Lynn Lynn, which totally sounds like a girl name. Yes. I'm waiting for Rachel to be like, oh, stop. And I'm ready. I, I'm ready to spill the beans on this. Poor Wayne, if he's still watching. So I got my dog. I got Lenny neutered when he was six months old. That's when the vet told me that I could neuter him. No judgment on that, guys. I do not regret it. And... He was a crypt orchid. If you don't know what that is, Google it. And Wayne called him. Here's the thing. A crypt orchid is when. <laughs> this is so gross. Why am I saying this? A crypt orchid is when only. Is one when, testicle. Only one testicle. Only one little ball drops. Okay. So he only had one little testicle. And Wayne called him one ball limb. And then it stuck. And my family talks about it all the time. And I think it is absolutely hysterical. Then I don't remember that. I mean, I totally believe it, yes. but I don't really remember. I came to work and told Becca, and then Becca came back the next day and was dying and said that Wayne would say, how's old one ball Lynn? Which Wayne is like the king of inappropriate <laughs> it's his, names it's, and here's a, it's fine. It's just anatomy. It's totally fine. Yeah. But, so, yeah. Um, Wayne, that's another hilarious thing about poor Lenny and Wayne. One ball limb. I don't really know where to go from here. <laughs> you can go anywhere from right now, Becca. Yes, I can. Pick any they, avenue. They want to see Lenny. You want to see Lenny? Bring Lenny over here. I can bring Lenny over. He's taking a schnooze He's right now He's taking a schnooze. I oh, forget that these mocks, I can go wherever I want. You can. Look Lenny. at Lenny. Lenny, how you feeling? Look how lanky he is. Look at He's him. so adorable. Oh, I would literally jump oh, in front of a train for this dog right now. Is this his, like, YouTube debut? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. Before, has he? I'm not sure. He's he's my good boy. Wayne. He's so soft. I would do anything for this dog. Lenny. You're so good, He's Lenny. so tired, too. He's been with my mom's dog all day long, which they are BFFs. They're only three months apart. And he is, like, dangling. He's so tired. He's exhausted. But, yeah. I can't believe I just told you about my dog's balls. But here we are. Oh, my God. And we're moving on. <laughs> Look at Becca. She's like, I don't even know what to do. I mean, I, I'm almost certain 
I've said way more inappropriate things. I mean, in, it's uh, just a, anatomy. In line with that conversation, do you want to tell them what the gender is? Sure. Did you not find anything no, cute to do? No, because we don't have like balloons or anything here. And it completely failed her entire mission. That's we have okay, glitter. Though. That's okay though. It's okay. Do you want me to grab it? No, no. we're not making a mess yeah, with no. glitter. <laughs> no, we don't have a glitter bag. We got. I'm having a boy. So the the blood test was correct. Totally correct. We're having a sweet little baby boy. And the doctor came in, and I was nervous. And the doctor said, "Your baby is perfect." And that just. I just did a sigh of relief and just thanked God and all of you guys for all your amazing prayers for a sweet little healthy baby boy. Oh my God, I can't So wait. come April, oh. we're going to have a little boy. And everyone has told me uh, there's just nothing like a mama's boy. There's nothing mm -mm. like a little boy. So mm -mm. I'm really, really excited. It's the best. We're super, super thrilled. And guys, I told you before, I told like the rest of my family, my friends and everything. <laughs> so consider yourselves lucky. Um, yeah, you get to, you hear it first here. We're having a, we're having a little boy. <laughs> a little baby boy. Little baby. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I'm so oh, It's been a long time since I held a, like a little tiny baby. Mm. Like, I think the last time I hold, held like a infant, infant, like week old yeah. infant. And I'll hold your baby unless there's something wrong with me. Please hold yeah, my yeah, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, was Fallon. And there's nothing like those snuggle, oh. like the, oh my gosh. It's been too long for you. It has. I'm almost afraid that I'm going to get baby fever because of your baby, though. Ooh. You can just keep my baby then. Um, oh, Debbie okay. wants okay. to know yeah. what yeah. colors you are going with. Traditional blue, question mark? I don't, it, nothing bothers me, if you're asking. Like, I'm, I'm very, meh. Um, I do love gender neutral colors. Like the, I think it's like the jewel tones. I love that burnt orange color. Oh yeah. The nursery is going to be a lot of sh big shock, I know. Mustard yellow and grays and creams. That's just. Like honeycomb, right? Honeycomb. Yeah, yeah like mm -hmm. honeycombs. I just, you know, whatever. Mary, okay. yes, you're sworn to secrecy. Yes, you're sworn to secrecy. I mean, it's on the secrecy. interwebs now. Everyone's... It's on the internet now. <laughs> My friends are going to find it. Like, thanks for telling me in a live stream. I'll be like, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, Erica, mom of three boys and one, or three girls and one boy, and let me tell you, the boy is the easiest. Erica, I have to agree. I mean, I only have one and one, but Beckett has so much energy, and I love Fallon. I mean, love Fallon. She's hysterical. She's like my mini BFF, but that girl has attitude, and she is whiny. Guys, my sonographer, the woman who is taking all the measurements and doing all of the things when she confirmed the gender, she said... Let me tell you, she said, I have a boy, and I, I prayed mm. for what she said. I did not want that drama. And I started hee-haw laughing because, on it, listen, little girls are incredible, but I've heard that they are full of drama, and I don't know if this mom is ready for that drama. Maybe, maybe later. But right now, I'm so blessed to be having a boy. Just country girl said, their smell. The baby, oh, the baby, your baby, male. baby magic may or may oh not still gosh. put baby magic on my eight year old. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, no judgment. Here. Just smell this yummy is a judgment in their footy zone. pajamas. Oh, mm. this is a with the, the pizza in their mouth. Beckett called this passy pizza, a pizza, a um, pizza. Um. How long did he take a passy? Um, I was way older um, than I should have been. Until he was like four. No, sh okay, well, no we, shame. Well, we took it away at four. Three or three and a half, I can't remember. And then our great, we had to put our Great Dane down. And, and Fallon was and, born around that time. And too. Um, Beckett came bawling in the middle of the night. It had been a couple of weeks yeah. and was asking for it. And I was like, here, you can have here, it. Take it. Take it back. We, we all need ways to cope. Here's Wayne yours. says Fallon is crying right now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> because of what I said? <gasps> Please tell me that's not true. I keep forgetting my kids watch these. I love you, Fallon. You're this sweet girl. You're yeah. so funny. And I can't wait to show you your video you made earlier. Love her heart. <laughs> I'm going to scooch back over there. Make sure make sure Anna's not messing up my tech station I'm, over there. I'm a pro. Mommy called me whiny. <laughs> Mommy called me. <laughs> hey, Wayne, can you mute it for a minute? Oh. Mute it for a minute. I'm going to give you a minute because I'm going to tell a story. Okay, I'm gonna I'm go. I'm Fallon, gonna go. I love you all. I'm Fallon coming. has been sucking her thumb. I mean, she always sucks her thumb, but she's almost five. She'll be five next in th two weeks. And three, we're trying to get her to be stop. Five in two weeks. December twelfth, three weeks, whatever it is. Yes. Oh my gosh. We're trying to get her to stop. So, I I sang her a song, um, 
the Santa Claus is coming, you know, the whole, he sees, you, he when sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've sucked your thumb, so quit for goodness sakes. And she went to bed that night crying because she said she couldn't quit sucking her thumb and she didn't want Santa to see her sucking her <laughs> yes, thumb. Yes. Anyway. Becca, Erica says um, her 15-year-old daughter has an attitude like no other, but so do her twin girls oh. that are five. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but if you don't know because you're brand new to us today, uh, Becca and I are also twins. Yes. Yes. So. Yeah. I got to tell my mother-in-law that today, and she was flabbergasted as well. That Ann and I were twins? Well, yeah, because she asked me, Becca, you're actually going to love this. She was asking me what kind of music we listened to, and I told her that we listened to just about everything. And I said, even though Becca is a couple years older than me, her, I, I was just bragging on her that, like, her playlist is my playlist. We have, like, the exact same taste in songs. And um, my mother-in-law said, well, how, how much older than you is she? I said, well, she's 34. And she goes, She's 34? And I said, yeah. And she said, she looks so much younger than that. She said, I would never have guessed she was 34. I'm like, I know. She's drop dead gorgeous. And then she said, so what about Anna, you know, the partner in the company? How old is she? I said, did oh, she, wait, 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 Did she think she was older or younger? Who? Me. Oh, she didn't say. Well, I just said, God. I said they're twins. I mean, my face is full of Botox. So. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> but no. So that, there you go, Becca. There you go. I thought oh, you might like that. Oh, I do like that. Mm -hmm. I do. I like a reminder. Yeah. Because I still feel young. You're, you're young and beautiful, Becca. Thank you. Oh, what? How are you, Anna? You go to bed at like 7 o'clock every night. And I did when I was 16. No, you did not. You and April and Teresa would stay up and torment me when we would sleep there and do mean things to me because I was the first one out all the time. Okay, I did when I was 17. <laughs> I go to bed at like 7.30. Rachel, tell them, what, tell them your story when you were like, James. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> so... I had, I've started this new medicine from my OB for some migraines I've been having, right? So I have to take it at night. So I was taking it a couple days. Well, it just so happened to also be when I was going to bed, literally. It, okay, the time changed, okay? So it's getting dark an hour earlier. It messes my, my body up. So I would, like, take a shower and get ready for bed at 7.30 and go to bed at 7.30. And I would sleep like crap because from, like, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning on, I could not sleep. So, the, you know, I, I would wake up and say, James, I didn't sleep good. Maybe it's that medicine. Maybe it's that darn medicine. I said it for like three and four days. And finally, I said, James, I'm just not sleeping good. I'm getting up at like 3.34 in the morning, not being able to sleep. And he said, Rachel, do some math here. You go to bed at 7.30. Your body does not need any more sleep by four in the morning. You are not <laughs> sleeping bad. You're going to bed too early. And it hit me. And I was like, Oh my gosh, like he completely attacked me, attacked me verbally, but it was all the truth. And I'm like, I probably need to stick it out and, and go to bed, at, try to go to bed at like nine. And guess what, guys? I'm sleeping great. I just, your body doesn't need that much sleep. Nope. Nope. No, nope, well, sure doesn't. If you're pregnant, maybe it needs more. Well, but yeah. I mean, I was brought out and bushy tailed at four o'clock and just not knowing what to do with myself. Okay, friends, 34, I see all these comments. 34 is young. Do, uh, it is yes. absolutely 100%. But remember that. I worked for the last two years with Rachel was the oldest person I worked with and she is 23 so that made me a, a little bit different <laughs> in it what I didn't think about that yes everyone else was 23 or younger so oh my gosh. in my and again 34 is not old but they would say things and I was like oh or they would say you're showing your age <laughs> and I was Anyway, but you're right. 34, like, I, I still feel young. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway. Did you see what Carol said? Wayne is loving that he was, quote, unquote, allowed to mute Becca. It's every husband's dream. <laughs> to be allowed to mute his wife. It's actually really funny, though. I mean, Wayne can speak up if he, if he can hear me, if he unmuted me. I he guess probably if he didn't, did. we really He's probably know. scared. He's like, I'm just going to leave it. Uh, Wayne, I don't know. Like, uh, I, don't, I don't think Wayne would choose to. I don't, I don't think he would either, Becca. I mean, it's been it's been a lot of years. 
It'll be 15 this coming March, right, Becca? Yeah, we got married 15 years ago. 15 years. It will be 17 years together. Oh, my goodness. Yes, and he has literally never once started an argument. Nope. Which is really annoying. Me and Becca do have He has that in done things that made me spouses. start arguments, but yes. he has never started an argument. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yes. And it's annoying. Yes. But that's another day. Yeah. And we'll go down that. We'll that that'll be therapy one oh one. We'll yeah, we'll make out its time. own video. Um, on a technical question, Teresa said, ladies, quick question. Any ideas why I can't use the curve option in DS? Are you on an iOS device? Or, I want to know. Or have you already ungrouped your text? Yes. Because you also can't do that. Let's either. me know both of those. Also, I've not even talked about it one time. Rachel, have you put our thingy up? No, I'm, I'm going to do it right now. Put it above me because I'm, I'm hunkered down. You want me to put it above you? Okay. Yeah. Per <laughs> some of their requests. I'm hunkering down. Okay, yeah. here you go. Boom. It will, fit, it will fit right above me. Please come to our Black Friday event. <laughs> <laughs> Which is Friday, November 26th. It is Black Friday, the Friday right after Thanksgiving, and it is starting at 4 p.m. Eastern. We are super excited to be doing some crafting. We're going to be doing a fun little um, segment that is also crafting, but really funny. I hope it's funny. Becca's going to be rocking a really awesome shirt. I am! I am! Yes, I am. <laughs> I saw it in our Amazon cart today, and I was like, Oh my gosh, that's Wait, what? fantastic. Wait, what? Do I need to see it or was it what you sent? It's, what it, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's from our conversation on yesterday's Wait, Becca, live. What? You don't want to make it? No. Oh. And we can just buy it. I mean, I might make a new cut file because I don't particularly love the layout of the one, but but I'll give it to them, not me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, Heather says it's on her calendar as Flock Friday. <gasps> can you do Flocking Friday? <laughs> oh. oh my God. <laughs> They they uh, they made that joke before I did. Anyway, she said point upward while displaying it. It's not there now. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun. We are doing giveaways. We are launching our course, officially launching our course. Woohoo! Yes, and I'm going to be honest, friends. I was on the phone with our web dev team this morning, and our website is not going to be completely finished by then, but they are working hard to do a landing page for us so that you all can still uh, purchase. They were like, let me just tell you. I'm just being honest. They were like, we could do an HTML page, and they could like submit what they want and their information, and then you could contact them with their email and blah 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 and I was like no that's sketchy we want them to actually be able to purchase it in a purchasable way <laughs> man anyway <laughs> man. <laughs> they are working to get that done for us um so that we can launch our course for you all on Black Friday and we're really excited about that but um well I guess we could go ahead we talked a little bit yesterday about what we were offering on Black Friday for our course so, um, are we spilling all the beans? Do you want to come up here and do it with me? Or is, or are we spilling? I think the beans? we should. Spill the beans. Okay. Do it. So our course is going to be, um, it's four videos and we wanted to do a smaller course so that you all could feel comfortable about purchasing it and getting plugged in that way. It is a $49 course. And what that, the special that we're offering you for Black Friday is, Ordinarily, if you purchase a course from Oak and Lamb, it does not get you access to our Oak and Lamb flock. The Black Friday special that we're giving you is that it gives you access to the Oak and Lamb flock. Now, Becca, what is the flock? The flock, thank you, is our private Facebook group that we will be creating. Um, that is a wonderful community of amazing crafters. Um, and we get support there, we get inspiration there. I will be dropping, since we don't have our cut file library there, I actually thought about this yesterday and haven't even told Rachel, we'll randomly just be dropping cut files in there to share with you all, for you all to use. Um, Sounds amazing to me. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, so the special is that you get access to that flock for six months. Um, no coupon code needed, no anything. So uh, just to give you a little bit of information, what and are you, they selling? Or what are they saying? You can purchase that on Black Friday. On Black Friday, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Megan says you ladies cannot keep a secret at all. No, 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 no. we're it's terrible. I'm the kind of person. I'm the kind of person who buys your Christmas present and gives it to you the same day. Oh, like yeah. even if it's in March that you buy it. I can't. And 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 she's also terrible and impatient. And I'll text her and I'll say, I got you a surprise. And I'm like, why did you tell me that if I'm you're not going to tell me? Uh, 
it's eating up my soul. Please tell me. <laughs> and then I get excited and give it to her. It's a problem. Every time. It's a problem. Cat, look at Cat's comment. <laughs> I bet. Cat. I love you, Cat. You're so sweet. <laughs> oh my gosh. I oh, don't have never had Facebook. Aubrey, I Facebook. totally understand um, that you don't have Facebook. However, if you wanted to be a part of the group, then you could create like an alias um, where you only, like it can have a different name. We just need to know that it's you with a different name. Um, and you can enter that group. You don't have to friend request anyone. You don't have to post anything, but you can enter the group through that like alias Facebook if you wanted to do that. We just need to know that you're doing that. Yeah, um, this is a good question from Megan. I don't think I can make it on Friday. Will the deal be available for a few days? We, um, yes, we'll make sure that it's available for all of you all, especially. Um, yes, absolutely. And we'll post about it on social as well to help remind you all. Great question. Um, anyway, thanks. It has been so much fun. If, if we don't have any questions about any of the logistics of Black Friday or anything like that, um, then I think we're going to skedaddle. I have to go home and repent to my child who's crying because oh, I no. outed her on the YouTubes. Oh, no. I know. Listen, it's fine. Yeah. Anyway, thank you all so much. Have a fantastic Friday. We'll see you here Monday. We'll be live Monday. Watch for the schedule. We don't have it up yet, but hopefully, Rich, do you think we'll get one up this weekend? Yeah. At least Monday's up this yeah, weekend? Yeah, of course. Okay. All right. All right. Have a fantastic weekend, everyone.